When I moved from California to New York, I had a pair of white Chuck Taylors and a pair of black Chuck Taylors. <laughs> I wore them every single day. I wore one of the two pairs every single day. And um, when I moved to New York, I somehow lost one of the shoes. Like I lost, I lost the right white shoe. Lost it, I don't know how, what happened. So I get there and I have the two black shoes, gone, just gone. I have the two black shoes and then I have the one white, like one white shoe. And I'm devastated, and I'm like working in AmeriCorps. I made like $700 a month or something in AmeriCorps, so like I, I didn't want to spend that on shoes. So what I did was I just started wearing yep, one black, one white. And Anthony, you know me, you know me so well. And that was what happened. So and then and like people actually ended up loving it. So then I, you know, finally ended up buying another pair, but I still mixed and matched. So if you have another pair of Chuck Tees, I would suggest you mix and match them. Anything. It doesn't no, it doesn't even matter. It's not even a matter of like what goes well. It's like don't even try to match, right? It's just that's the thing. So what we need to do is we need to finalize 5.0, Brian Ratchet 5.0. The website, Andres hit me up this morning. We want to go live with that tomorrow, which would be awesome. Um, so let's spend the first 30 minutes doing that. I need all proposals. I have to go to lunch, I believe, for, at 12.45. And I probably won't be back in today. I'm doing lunch with And then I have to, we're going to probably go through the proposals. And then um, I have to meet tonight. From I had a really interesting conversation last night at this event that I went to. Um, with a couple, one works at LinkedIn, one works at, she. her client is YouTube. Just like a little gem for you guys that are watching the vlog that wanna get some like information about marketing in 2017. They are literally building YouTube original. They have an entire budget from Instagram influencers to the point where, I was telling Brian this morning, they have a video, they have a documentary about cats in Singapore. Right, cats in Singapore. It's a documentary, and they did all of their marketing by using Instagram to identify cat pages, and they used cats, the cat pages, as influencers to drive traffic to the documentary. Yeah, yeah. So Instagram influencers is really a thing right now, and this girl was saying like. It's just the market for Instagram influencers right now is absolutely insane. So I know that I keep talking about this and all this. And then Brian and I were talking this morning about Fresh's videos. We had almost a thousand views in the last 10 hours. It was a thousand views, cool. The Pride videos and other stuff. So then he said, well, why would, why would they penalize YouTube links? And the answer to that is because I think what Facebook is gonna plan next, and this is fun, this is why it's fun to do this vlog because it's kind of like a prediction thing. I think Facebook will turn into a TV station, basically. So like, you'll be watching TV, and then let's say, you know, you wanna watch the fitness, like your, your boy's fitness vlog is up, and you're like, okay, it's a 30 second clip, and it says watch full vlog here. You just, I think it'll literally be like, you'll hit it, and it'll just turn into a TV show. So that's probably why I think, that, that, that that's my guess in terms of why they're penalizing you for YouTube, because they wanna crush YouTube. So that's it. So, so it's going to be kind of a fast morning. Um, proposals are finalized. I need those to be printed properly. In the afternoon, I need you guys to get that board done. I need you to um, keep promoting all of, all of our videos. We need to go into like all, we're getting so many acceptances in these Facebook groups. Fun hack for you guys if you're trying to get your videos seen, join a bunch of groups that are related to the thing that you're doing and then post your video directly into that. We talked about it yesterday, but in case you missed the episode yesterday, go watch it. But the key is YouTube, Facebook is penalizing you for putting a YouTube link in their, not penalizing you, but they're lowering you on the algorithm. Put the, drop the video directly into Facebook and like we're seeing it's just like exploding right now. So that's that. Let's get to work on the website. Señor Escobar, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, señor. Tienes cinco minutos.
Guys, we're gonna, this is the posting, the unveiling, the posting, the unveiling, the posting of the, this beautiful, really, I really love this, guys. It's really good. Good morning, August, August, third, fourth, whatever August day it is. I wanna thank you for being here. I wanna thank you for your questions. A lot of cool questions coming in from all over the world. We got somebody from Canada. We got somebody from Lagos, Nigeria. We got someone from Mars. So thank you so much for these things, these questions. I really love doing this for you guys. So I'm going to do a Q&A sprint today. Welcome to Magic Moment Monday number 10. And this one might be the most special of all of them. Um, a very special gift from a very special woman that I met a few years ago, actually, uh, in the Bronx. And uh, she made this for me, which was is going to be our magic moment. Monday, this is obviously a picture of myself. Um, she's a painter. And I want to tell you the story behind this magic moment Monday. So, as many of you know, I started a speaking and branding career a few years back, five years back at this point. And one of the things that I did was I spoke at CUNY. Uh, CUNY system is near and dear to my heart. I went to law school there and it was a very important place with a lot of great scrappy hustler students from all over the world. And I gave a talk there about the importance of relationships and kind of why relationships were the thing that made me who I am and the importance of having positive relationships around you and really not listening to what society tells you to do and not listening to what your parents say you do and not listening to what all the things that people want to impose on you because of their own fear or their own set of beliefs or their own judgment around how you live your life. And because of that, this advice really resonated with a certain student who was at the time in an abusive relationship. Um, she was being abused and the, the father of her two children were abusing the children as well. And one night, um, she had discovered that the father had severely beaten their one-year-old son and the son had to be rushed to the emergency room. And so she said that she remembered the talk that I gave and that talk led her to basically be able to have the courage to leave him. And so she took the two kids and she ran. So pretty cool stuff. Um, the Embassy of Afghanistan commented on our video, is gonna share it with their people for Foresha. The code that is pretty sweet, right? Coding, uh, code to inspire Afghanistan's first coding school for women. Um, just got a really cool, the American Iranian Council just hit us up and said they're gonna put our video in their newsletter which is cool, has a lot of followers on there. So, you know, it's really all about distribution. If you're doing YouTube, if you're doing content, you really gotta reach out. This is Alice, <laughs> we went to law school together. Yes, we're law school classmates. And you are doing what now? I am with the current Mrs. New York America, and in 13 days, I'm leaving for Vegas to come for Mrs. America. And we literally oh, just ran into each other on the street. Yes. He's so shy. I feel bad for him. I wish that he would be a little bit more outgoing. Thomas is here. 
So look, you know that my goal in life is to speak at Madison Square Garden. Right. So I have this thing, right? Get people, and we need to get a flower for you. And I have them, we take flower, we take pictures of the flowers together, and I ask them if they'll come watch me speak when I speak at the garden. Or we're gonna cover this whole board, we're gonna actually get a really big one. But the road to the garden is lined with flowers, and these are all pictures of people and flowers. Oh. Isn't that cool? A couple of them don't have flowers. That's all right, we'll take those okay. out. But I, I appreciate okay. what you have to try. That's really cute. <laughs> I'll get you a poster of Secret Garden. Broadway show. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Business meeting time. Round hour Seven. 14. It's another good day. <laughs> 11.15 p.m. walking home, uh, just jammed literally all day long, I didn't waste any time at all. Great client meetings, caught up with some old friends and colleagues and business partners and clients and magic makers, just uh, really putting in a lot of 14, 15 hour days right now and uh, just got you know, my feet on the ground, my hands in the dirt, but definitely, uh, definitely have my uh, dreams, visions, ideas in the sky. <laughs>